we got the Johnny Majors Bowl. And we have got Pitt traveling to Tennessee. And, man, Pitt is a three-point favorite here. I believe that it was close to a pick em in the preseason. And, and now it's up to three. And now, like, bananas. Just it, it, This is going to be a lot of fun. It could be an all-time uniform game. I am excited about that because I do think – that Pitt is actually going to be wearing the the old school, like 70s and 80s uniform. And, you know, Tennessee, classic uniform as well. These two coaches have actually played each other before, right? Narduzzi and Heupel played two years ago and, you know, came down to a last-second touchdown by Pitt to win this game 35-34. I'm, I'm pumped. I am excited about it. I think this is going to be a fun yeah, ball game. I, I know. I, I love this game. I think it's going to be awesome. I, I think I think Knoxville's going to be crazy. That's what I think. I've got a lot of opinions about games this week. I saw home field advantage matter in a big, big way in week one. I think it's going to continue to affect outcome. Do you think that, or do you think I'm overrating that? No, no, no. I, I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree big time. So I, I do think it will matter, but I, I do say this. I I watched a good portion of that Bowling Green Tennessee game on replay, and Joe Milton did not look very good to me. And, and oh, no, Joe Milton was garbage. He he was he didn't just not look good. He was all he looked bad against a bad football team. It's okay to say that. Yeah. So I I think going up against the Pat Narduzzi defense, I. I'm going to trust Pitt to get this thing done. I, they've got a, a basically eighth-year quarterback with Kenny Pickett, Mark Whipple in his third season there. I think Pitt can score, and I think they will score on a bad Tennessee defense. I'm I'm going to ride Pitt minus three here. Yeah, so. I, I, I'll tell you this. I think that's the right answer, okay? I think that's the right answer. I'm, I'm going to go Tennessee. I think we might see some special stuff in Knoxville. But I think that across the board against a lot of, like, Big schools that are hosting big games this weekend are not something I want to bet against, especially when they're catching points. Yeah, yeah. No, it is It is all good. It is, I can't I, tell you how it's going to happen. Milton has to come out and look totally different than he looked last week. He has to look substantially better. And Tennessee's defense has to play a lot better. And I need Pitt to make mistakes. But I'm not above seeing a, a college football team make mistakes. We watch it happen every weekend. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So I I, I do so, think it. I, I could see Milton improving, but against this defense, I don't think Tennessee will be able to run as easily against Pitt. And and I do believe that Pitt's going to be able to put up points on this defense. Like Bowling Green had so many open opportunities, and they were not able to take advantage of it. So I'm I'm riding Pitt, and you're you're doing the same. No, no, no. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Tennessee. Oh, you're taking Tennessee. Okay, okay. Taking Tennessee. Taking Tennessee. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.